Hello, this is Rochelle Sharp on behalf of the Washington Student Achievement Council and team here at the agency. Thank you for your interest and involvement in creating a statewide adult learner support system. There are four parts to this recorded presentation. Background on the purpose of the initiative, an overview of our outreach strategies, details of the mobile first compass tool, and description of campus participation steps. Many of you have been involved, have met with us, or heard a presentation, so this is an abbreviated introduction. As a state agency charged with increasing educational attainment, the Council, which represents every educational sector and business, views adult re-engagement as a priority to ensure more Washingtonians are competitive for good jobs, the jobs that require a credential after high school. Not having one suppresses employment outcomes for adults, and yet when they're not connected with our educational system, they're less able to access information and support. There are about 1 million working aged adults in Washington who are without a credential and some without a high school diploma, and they're not enrolled. There are many reasons they delayed or ceased attending, and we know they face unique challenges from stale credits, time frame limits, access to records, balancing work with family and studies, and more. That said, this is a very large and broad group. As one campus president said to us, 100 adult learners have 100 different stories. That's why we've created a comprehensive framework to help all adults, regardless of their educational level. We've organized the initiative into three main areas that all intersect as we find, reach, and support students, address their needs, including affordability, and help them achieve their educational goals. The strategic vision with principles and objectives have helped shape the recruitment and support system I'm going to describe today with marketing efforts that will start with former college students but once launched, the College and Career Compass will develop into a larger support network with higher education institutions, employers, community organizations, and broader marketing efforts. We have included all sectors of education as our primary partner for development and talked with them on how to integrate this with existing systems and enrollment management practices and we've ensured that we use an equity lens as we identify and support students we are aiming to reach, and we've created a cost-effective approach. Adults that are not connected to the educational system and face unique challenges are harder to reach and support. We're starting our outreach with a targeted email campaign to encourage use of the compass. We begin with identifying a student population using our statewide financial aid data set to target students who are previously financial aid recipients who have stopped out for at least a year, had attended for several years previously, and don't have major financial aid concerns. These students are no longer enrolled and have not received a credential. We review this data set to be sure the group represents the former students in terms of their demographics and characteristics. The first email campaign will focus on piquing users' curiosity about the tool and encouraging them to visit the Compass. Messages focus on the value of completion and affordability with an emphasis on the new guaranteed Washington College Grant. After researching the tools other states have created, developing the features and functionality with a technical team, collaborating with the Workforce Board, and receiving guidance from our Chief Information Officer, WASAC developed an interactive mobile-first tool with modern user experience design. As the agency that manages state financial aid and our 529 savings plans, we had the IT expertise and with support from the Lumina Foundation, have been able to focus on development. Developing this tool in-house allows us to control the development, improvement, and maintenance over time. This is an overview of the process. We conduct the outreach, starting with email, to nudge prospective students to use the Compass tool. 
We then allow users to explore programs, navigate content, and with their permission, get connected to a campus. The program search allows users to explore educational pathways and filter results. The programs or campus that match their search term will appear as tiles with the name, campus, program length, degree type, and mode. Users can filter the results or sort the order they appear. I'm not showing a live demonstration of the tool in part because we are scrubbing and loading the campus program data files that we've received. We'll be adding some help text that defines acronyms and clarifies certain pathways. Participating campuses will have the Compass logo as a sort of badge signaling the campus is interested in supporting adult learners through this initiative. Users can then click on one of the tiles to learn more about the program. The program description and requirements, if provided, are shown, and the initial results of an occupation data match are provided for potential careers. And the participating campus is again shown with the symbol and a link to receive more information about the campus. In the next phase, we will incorporate career clusters and strengthen the link to more labor market information. When you click on the campus, if they are not participating, it simply states the location and main web page of that campus. For participating campuses, there is an expanded profile with more information and highlights and an emphasis on serving adult learners. This is a mock-up. We have not received campus profile information as it is part of the campus participation submission. But in general, it will provide a banner, an overview, and information within these four sections that mirror the content in the tool and the self-assessment that I will explain. So hopefully completing the self-assessment will help inform a campus of what they might want to highlight in this profile. The second component of the tool is the content navigation that we refer to as a digital backpack. The user will be presented with prompts that captures their interest areas within five modules. How to pay for college, how to get ready, terminology and policies related to pathways, getting enrolled, and getting support. As they swipe on various topics, presumably using their mobile device, it will populate their digital backpack. So for the topic about college costs, a brief article will be presented. Not all of that article is shown here. It's designed to be focused on adults, be easily digestible, and not be overwhelming. Each article provides tips for the student as next steps and questions they might want to ask the campus or investigate with further research. Relevant articles to this topic are also shared for easy exploration of similar content. Ultimately, the prospective student can then share those interests and their educational programs with the campus, which we refer to as leads. Each primary contact for the campus will be provided access to the secure portal where you can draw down those leads and set up email notifications for new leads. We assume the campus will be able to track the records in your system and many campuses will integrate them into your CRM systems. Eventually, we'll ask you to share the result of the inquiry. Did the student apply? What is their status? I've alluded to the various participation steps already, but let me summarize them here. This is an initiative that is not mandated, but is conducted in partnership with campuses. As a priority for WASAC, we're committed to conducting the outreach and marketing and hosting the tool. And we will also learn as much as we can with and from you and share it broadly. We would like to promote program pathways for every campus that participates in state financial aid, both public and nonprofit private, that will really make this tool more effective. Beyond that, to fully participate and receive the leads as well as promote a campus through the campus profile, 
That involves three steps, signing the MOA and then submitting information via two online surveys. The first is the self-assessment and response plan, and the second is providing your profile for your campus. We've received program files from nearly all of the community and technical colleges. We've met with every public four-year institution and their campuses and are anticipating program information from most. And we're excited to have several private nonprofit institutions submitted and expected to participate. If you have questions on who we're working with at your campus, what the status is of your program file, please send me a note or give me a call. The self-assessment asks teams to think about their policies and practices with adult learners in mind. We've provided you with worksheets that are more detailed than this table, sharing a topics across four focus areas for discussion and reflection questions related to strengths, challenges, and plans across each focus area. And then we ask you to provide that information in an online survey form. That form will also ask about your campus's response plan for the leads coming through the Compass tool. We would like that response plan to be timely, personalized, and tailored to the unique interests and needs that the student shares through the Compass tool. Each campus will have a different approach, so that's a pretty open-ended question for your response in the online survey. The Campus Profile collects your campus information to promote your support services and policies for adult learners. In some cases, the marketing team might submit this information. And finally, the memorandum of agreement reflects the partnership between WASAC and the campus and describes the role and responsibility of each, reflecting our mutual commitment to support adult learners. The MOA has been provided in a PDF with appendices for each of the steps for participation and has been mailed, emailed with this PowerPoint to all of our campus contacts. The information has been posted to the website along with the link to the two surveys for submission. We would like to begin a soft launch and conduct outreach around February 25th so we're asking for these materials to be submitted by February 15th. We would love to hear from you regarding your plans for participation in the College and Career Compass. And finally, we have many organizations and people to thank. We are grateful to support from the Lumina Foundation and the learning community that they have created. That includes several states and national organizations that have really served as consultants to this endeavor. And the technical team from Washington, shown on the right, has been amazing with your time and expertise helping shape the endeavor. The advisory team, reflected in bold, has put countless hours into advising the Student Achievement Council. We appreciate your thoughtful input and guidance. Please let me know if you have questions, and thank you for your interest in supporting adult learners.